Hello everybody, in this video we will see a question based on isometric projection combination of a frustum of a cone and a sphere. Now the cone, the, the frustum of the cone is having base diameter 60, uh, base radius 60 mm and top face radius 40 mm whereas the, the and height is 45 mm whereas the sphere is having a radius of 30 mm. So you can draw the uh, front view and top view of the combination. The top view will be, you can see the, the frustum, you have outermost radius, a circle of outermost radius uh, 60 mm, one more circle of radius 40 mm and then sphere, you have sphere, so sphere is having a radius of 30 mm, so you can see three concentric circles of 60 mm, 40 mm and 30 mm radius, whereas front view, you can see uh, a diagram like this, front view, the, 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 the frustum of the cone is having 45 mm height and the sphere is of radius 30 mm. So, you can draw the top view and friendly view of the combination. Now, you have to draw the isometric view. To draw the isometric view, first you draw the uh, reference line like this and mark a point there and from there, since this outer uh, this outermost circle is of radius base radius 60 mm, that is diameter is 120 mm. So, from this point, from a point on this line, reference line, you mark 120 mm at 30 degrees towards the side. Similarly, from the same point, 120 mm towards the side at 30 degrees, you have to draw one more line. Now, after drawing these two lines, through this point, you have to draw one more line parallel to this line. Okay. You have two lines, then through this point, one line parallel to this line, you have to draw here like this line parallel to this. Okay. You have to draw this line parallel to this line. Similarly, one more line here, this one parallel to this line. So, you can get a parallelogram like this. Now, after drawing this parallelogram, you have, you have, if you see this, you can, you have two corners, these two corners are close to each other, whereas these, this, this corners are far. So, these two close corners from one corner to the opposite line midpoint, you have to draw a line like this, construction line. One more line from this corner to the opposite line midpoint, like this. So, similarly, through the, from, uh, from the other corner, okay. You have to draw one more line like this from this corner to the opposite line midpoint. You have two opposite lines. Midpoint. And one more line from this corner to the opposite line midpoint. Like this. Okay, you got lines like this. So these are construction lines. We just draw it uh, as thin lines. Now, soft lines like this. Now, to see this parallelogram, you have this uh, meeting point here. So that point is center. Okay, this meeting point is center. You have to draw a circle, an arc like this. This point is center, and then this as the radius. You have to draw an arc like this not complete circle you have to draw arc only okay like this you have to draw an arc. Similarly, this point is center and this as radius, you have to draw an arc like this. You got two arcs like this. Now, one more arc you have to draw this point as center and this as radius this point as center and this as radius you have to draw an arc like this this point as center this point as center and this as radius you have to draw one more arc like this and similarly this point as center, this as radius, you have to draw one more arc like this. Okay. 
So you got that ellipse. Now what you have to do is you have to mark the height of the object from each corner. Height of the object is 45 mm. From each corner you are marking 45 mm. Now you connect all these points by using straight lines like this. Now you have this outer outer circle is of uh, this inner circle that is the top face. The radius is 40 mm. So you can you, you have to draw yes, another box inside this having an edge length of 40 mm. So here it is 60 mm. So you have to offset this one through. 20 mm that is you have to draw 20 mm away you have to draw a line like this okay parallel to this line basically from here you have to mark 20 mm and from here you have to mark 20 mm you draw that line similarly 20 mm from here and 20 mm from here you draw that line in that way you have to draw one and one more box inside this one having edge length 40 mm so you have to draw parallel lines to this line at a distance of 20 mm from here from each corner We got one more box inside that. So you got this box. Now you have to draw similar ellipse inside this box. Okay. For that, first of all, we will you have to draw one line from this corner to the opposite line midpoint. Similarly, one more line from this corner to the opposite line midpoint. Listen, all of you, uh, just take care that you are you are drawing the lines from. Uh, the closed corners okay you have two corners one is the uh, you have these two corners are close to each other whereas these are not close so you are drawing lines from the closed corners okay one corner to the opposite line midpoint from the other corner you are not doing anything okay Now you have to repeat this similar, you know, you have to draw similar ellipse inside this box. For that, this point as center and this as radius, you have to draw an arc like this. That is this point as center, this meeting point as center, this as radius, one arc like this.
now you have one more arc this side this point as center and this as the radius one more arc now you have to draw one more arc here like this so for that again this point as center this point meeting point as center and this as radius one more arc so after drawing that uh, arc you have to draw one more arc from here like this this point as center this point as center and this this has radius one more arc like this This point as center, this as radius, and drawing one more arc, and this as radius. So, in that way, you can get the top ellipse also. Now, you have to draw one thing, you just draw a tangent like this to this curve, like this. Tangent to tangent, line from here to one more line from this side, tangent to here also tangent. You can draw that line like this. So you got the isometric view of the um, this custom. Now you have to draw the sphere. To draw the sphere, first of all, we will do one thing. We will just erase unwanted lines so that uh, diagram will be clear. We got some idea about diagram. Now, uh, now we have to get the. Uh, we have to draw the sphere. To draw the sphere, we will just, we'll just make all these lines thin. These are all construction lines. All those lines should be a thin line. We don't need this. These lines are used for drawing the, uh, the main diagram. So those are construction lines. So let it you use some other color for that. Like this, you can see, and this line also, these two lines. Now, the idea now the diagram is clear. Now, you have the uh, spear to draw. To draw the spear, you will do one thing you just uh, you have to get the center point of the spear. That point is uh, this is the center point of the spear, that is the uh, 
uh, from here to here you will draw a line like this so, so that you can get the center point also one more line from here to here that that meeting point uh, is basically at this point okay center point so from the the radius of the sphere is 30 mm so we will draw one thing we just draw we will just draw a line like this from that point uh, having a distance of 30 mm okay 30 mm is the height of the uh, is the radius of the sphere so 30 mm we are drawing here so you can get that point 30 mm so that point that point that is 30 mm point now that point is center and the radius is equal to 30 by 0.82 30 by 0.82 that is uh, you have to use in the case of sphere you have to use isometric uh, sphere, uh, the sphere radius will increase so you have to use the isometric scale there divided by 0.82 so sphere uh, radius will increase uh, by uh, uh, that is divided by 0.82 that is 1.2 times the sphere radius will increase in the case of isometric view so you you do one thing for drawing the circle 30 is the radius of the sphere so 30 divided by 0.82 that's equal to 36.5 so you have to draw a circle of radius 36.5 how this 36.5 is coming is it is a isometric isometric scale so uh, that using that scale you have to draw the sphere uh, index of sphere the size of the sphere will increase so you can see the sphere separately by using some other color we will note that you can see that a green color is the sphere and you can see the sphere separately we will use some other color this blue color we will use and to draw this isometric diagram also we will use blue color so that you can easily identify isometric scale and diagram separately So this is the combination of the um, system of cone and sphere. Isometric view of the combination of the system of cone and sphere.